There once came a time when Musa alayhi salam was asked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O Musa, what have you ever done for me? He said, I have prayed, I have fasted, and I have been given charity. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, The benefit of praying is for you, so is the benefit of fasting, but what have you done for me? Musa alayhi salam was then not able to say something else, so he asked Allah, Please, you tell me what is the action which is done for you. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Have you ever developed a relation of wilaya with someone just for my sake? Are you able to develop a real love for people for me? At this point, Musa alayhi salam came to know that the best of actions is to love for the sake of God and to dislike for the sake of God. But what does it mean to develop a relationship of wilaya with people? What is the meaning of wilaya? The concept of wilaya is one of the most fundamental Islamic concepts in the Holy Quran and traditions. There are many different meanings of wilaya, but generally speaking, wilaya is interpreted in the sense of guardianship, assistantship, or friendship. A good example of the application of this term is reflected in verse 55 of Surah Al-Ma'idah, where Allah says, Your wali is only Allah, his messenger, and the faithful who maintain the prayer and give the alms while bowing down. The meaning of wali here cannot be reduced to being an assistant or a friend. Rather, it alludes to the concept of guardianship, the one whose orders must be obeyed and the one who has the right over us. Wilaya has a hierarchy with the center point being Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From this center point emanates wilaya of his close ones and chosen ones, the prophets and imams, and then it extends to the faithful people. So, first, by creation and lordship, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the wali of everyone. He is the only provider and creator. But wilaya doesn't stop here. Wilaya means that to consciously and voluntarily ask God to undertake your leadership. So, although all human beings have God as a wali, only some people subscribe to that definition of wilaya, where God becomes their leader and their guide. So, wilaya is, at one level, universal, but is in another level for selective people who have decided to submit their affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to follow Him. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allah is the wali of the faithful. Then comes Allah's friends, the ones who are the closest to him, the prophets and the imams. They are the ones from whose hearts veils are lifted. Through the means of knowledge, faith and actions, their hearts perceive Allah in a very unique way. But wilaya is not only a relation from top to bottom, it is a relation that can be vertical and horizontal. Moreover, an important characteristic of wilaya is its mutual aspect. The relation between God and mu'mineen is wilaya and the relation between people and God is also called wilaya. The same thing is applied with Ahlul Bayt salam and us. Mu'mineen can also have wilaya between them, it's the horizontal aspect of it. You have some responsibilities towards me, and I have some towards you. As it is mentioned in the Quran, but the faithful, men and women, are wellies of one another. It is important to highlight that mutuality of relationship does not necessarily imply equality of the two sides. The wilaya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over believers is certainly not comparable to the believers' wilaya with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And similarly, when speaking of wilaya between the infallibles and the mu'mineen, one is the obeyed and the other one is obedient. One is guiding and the other one is receiving guidance. Despite the asymmetrical nature of the relationship, there exists so much love, closeness and mutual understanding between the two sides 
that it is as if there is a kind of reciprocity and partnership embedded in this bond. But wilaya is not just the relationship between each individual, each believer and the Prophet and their Imam. Rather, it is a relationship between the community of believers as a whole and the Prophet and their Imam, plus the relationship among the believers themselves. There are many traditions from the Holy Prophet that point to the social dimensions of wilaya. The faithful are like components of one building, where each part supports another. The faithful are like one soul. So, what definition of wilaya can embrace all these realities in one case? Wilaya is a relation that connects all mu'minin with each other, with the Imam, and with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It regroups people who have the same goal and share the same destiny. They all belong to the same camp. You can be an ordinary person in this camp, a leader, but you all share the same goal. It's a teamwork. If you want to be a good wali for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be included in awliyaullah or awliya imam al-zaman, it depends on the way you relate to other people. It's not something you can bypass. We must work hard to establish this unity. The Prophet said, You will never enter heaven unless you have faith, and you have no faith unless you love each other. So, wilaya is the soul of Islam. And the soul of wilaya, the soul of the soul, is the social part of it, to establish social wilaya, to love each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In conclusion, it can be said that wilaya makes an integrated and fully functioning body out of the faithful in such a manner that self-centeredness and egoism is substituted by love and self-sacrifice. Wilaya creates a strong sense of unity between faithful people and gives virtual life to Islamic communities. Therefore, wilaya is the spirit and the soul of Islam. <laughs>